The last thing I want to talk about today is immigration. And immigration has always been a tough subject. Um, I honestly don't think it's that complicated, but ultimately what I want to talk about is how immigration now. So if you recall, uh, during the pandemic, during the uh, Trump administration, um, he enacted something uh, called Title 42. He did it by executive order and essentially said, um, we are, we have this provision in the law that says if there is a national emergency, we can turn, or a pandemic or something like that, we can turn away all immigrants at the border um, until the event is passed. And for Trump, it was really just a ploy to do something anti-immigrant anti um, and to give red meat to the base. But Trump is no longer the president, as you are well aware, or I hope that you're well aware if you're watching this video um, in 2023. And the, the law has... He did make some genuine strides to do so. However, a court said, hey, you have to, uh, you have to uphold Title 42 until certain conditions are fulfilled, and then you can get rid of it. Now, we look like we're actually close to... The thing that's interesting about this is that the Biden administration is making moves to, um, in, in, to enforce Title 42, to ramp up enforcement of Title 42 across the border. Biden doesn't believe in this. And Biden has said that he wants to get rid of it. And why is he doing it? And I can't look into his mind to see what he's doing. No, I think Biden's a true conservative at heart. So I don't know. Maybe he actually wants to do this, but I don't know for sure. And I don't want to make any assumptions. What I will say this is this is the path of least resistance, right? Just do what's always been doing. Now, he said that he's and he's ramping up enforcement of it. So those things clearly don't uh, clearly don't work together. And so I don't want to talk about that particular part of it. Obviously, the first piece of advice to Joe Biden is get rid of Title 42. But there are actually some concrete things that Biden can do right now without having to talk to anybody else um, to improve our immigration situation. And by the way, these are options that have been on the table for the president. This is not unique to Biden. Um, but, you know, these are just kind of things that he can do because it's going to be gridlock in politics. There's not really not a ton that he can do otherwise. Um, so the first thing he could do is he could recruit more immigration judges or he could declare more ALJs, administrative law judges, to be immigration judges and move them to the border, right? Part of the problem that we have on, on the southern border is that we, there are too many people coming across and this process. Too many people coming across. I mean, that's a positive or negative or whatever. Too many. I think the capacity that many of these processing centers have, there are just more individuals trying to be processed than there are than there is the ability to process them at any given time. Okay, that's what I mean by too many. I'm not saying immigration is bad, yada yada. Okay. So one of the things that could improve immigration and get people into the country is to simply just immigration judges, right? Use the resources that you already have at your disposal um, and just get people processing immigration faster. Um, don't use uh, don't use military force on people, right? Help people get in because ultimately, why do people come to the U.S., right? And I've talked about this before. I'll say it again. People come to the U.S. because they are running away from something else and they think there's opportunity here. It's the same reason everyone has ever immigrated to America, literally ever. They're running from something, or they find, or they think there's opportunity here. The opportunity here, y'all. There are doing. It would be really cool to bring those people in. And by the way, to treat them properly, right, and and to document them and all that good stuff. The other thing, the other, the second thing Biden can do is uh, dismantle these detention centers because ultimately. They are taking up space. They're not. They're they're pretty much inhumane, and most and, and the vast majority of individuals who receive court dates actually come back for those court dates. They go and they find something to do in the meanwhile, but they come back. And look, 
you get a bunch of you get a bunch of identifying documents from those individuals as they come across the border. So if they don't have a court date, fine. That is the rules, right? The thing that I don't think that really fun, that is really funny about immigration is that people talk about it like there aren't any rules around immigration, which is fundamentally false. The U.S. has tons of rules on immigration. There's a whole title in the American in the U.S. Code dedicated to immigration, and so it's not like there are no rules. The, the, what you have to do is enforce the rules we already have, but be, you know, you have to be compassionate as well. Enforcing the rules. Does not here because that's not going to work. We're going to find a way. The walls going to work are just delusional. Walls have never worked. Even with walls and moats and alligators, whatever, people have always found a way across. Always. Not just America, anywhere else. Castles were not impregnable, okay? <laughs> Lots of kings and queens and lords and ladies got assassinated in their castles. Having walls was not going to stop someone from getting in. They really wanted to get in, okay? You can open the walls it's not going to work. It's it's never worked, okay. And so, a has options at his at his disposal. Resources he already has to get rid of way Biden. You should do that. And the southern border to come in and do what they want to do, which is to work here and to build a life and build a family. You know, not that long ago. There was fairly cyclical migration. People came to the U.S. to work, and then they left. Once, uh, and then they left once they, um, you know, were done for whatever season. So people would come here seasonally. They would, you know, they'd pick crops and then they'd go home. There was nothing wrong with that until we decided to make a big thing about it. What's interesting, actually, is that the most recent numbers on immigration show that more people are emigrating from the U.S. than are coming in. So, you know, the people love to show. These, these images of huge numbers of immigrants sitting at the, the southern border trying to get in. And the truth is, there are waves of people who come based on certain things, uh, on certain events that are happening in their countries or for seasonal work or whatever. It's very easy for cameras to stare at the groups of people sitting at the southern border and say, oh my God, this is terrifying. Look at all these people. What are we going to do? Yada, yada, yada. But it's much actually not a problem. This is something that if we have concern about these people coming in, we actually have the ability to process them and to get information about them and to hold them accountable in case they decide that they don't, well, you know, they don't want to come back for their court dates. We have reasons to do that. And by the way, you can make the southern border safer um, for, for migrants as well as you do that, because as soon as you um, as soon as you make getting in easier, you undercut the cartels who use uh, who who use smugglers to get people across and use uh, individuals to get drugs into the country. Now, will the cartels still try and use drugs into the country? Yeah, but people will feel a lot uh, will feel a lot less pressure to ask a cartel to help participate in the drug and, and human trade. It's just them to get in line, get a ticket, and come back later, right? And so, to the borders, um, you know, making more room for processing as opposed to detention, all that is going to help. So, again, Biden, you said that you were going to be better on immigration. There are ways you can do it all by yourself. Just go forth and make immigration better. You have the power to do it. Just do it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, Throw a like on it, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of our content. You can also find all of our videos and clips on YouTube.com. Just search Let Them Eat Bread and you'll find all of our content. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.